You know, you know, Jojo. I think if if people read us regularly, mm. right, they'll wonder why on earth we put Felda on the cover again. But I suppose he's hard to get, isn't he? This guy. Uh, it took us about a month to get him. Maybe he's more friendly with the other papers, but I don't know, lah. But if you read through, you'll see why it's covered. It's a pretty good interview. In Chester was very, very strong. So very good questions, uh, very good answers. Yeah. And uh, I think on Thursday we broke the story that. Uh, they got the approval from Indonesia to buy Eagle High, right? Yeah, the thing so that's, that's been a big thing. Yeah, yeah. So that's been and but the thing is when I when I when I read through the interview, it got it gave me the impression that he it's not a cushy job. He doesn't put on airs, and he, actually he's he's quite blunt. Was he like that when you talk uh, to him? Sharil is Sharil lah. He's uh, he's that's how he is. But he'll get the job done as best he can lah. You know. Yeah, and that's the thing that that. That has to be important for this. He 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 resigned his. He basically sacked his whole investment. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. he didn't sack. He asked them yeah, to kind yeah. of go. He says that you know the heads will are still rolling and he's and he's cleaning stuff up. So ultimately, what's his mandate, right? When yeah. he, what did he tell you? What his purpose the was? The heads will roll part. It's like this. Uh, we told him basically that the problem with Felda is whenever anything messes up or what, nobody gets the sack. Mm. And he says now it's going on what. Because MACC is investigating, and uh, what he highlighted, uh, not so many words. He actually to, he told us lah, like a lot of the info, like even the AG's report that comes out every year, Felda gets hantam like hell lah. But who gives the AG the info? No? It's Felda themselves. The settlers themselves. No, they have their own investigation committee and all that. No. Okay. And they give it, and uh, the AG comes out and hantam Felda, and he looks good. You know. Mm. Like even the MACC and all that, a lot of the early investigations were done by Felda itself. So ultimately, it means that as much as people see Felda as this board that doesn't govern itself, it actually does actually govern. Actually, does. But the thing is, uh, the way he explains it there as well, the most action they can take is sack you. Mm. But then people will ask, why didn't you take court action against them? So that's mm. why the SPRM and all are brought in, lah. Yeah, and he also, I won't say he defended. But this Eagle High deal has been the biggest thorn for everybody. Yeah, you know, yeah, people have gotten yeah. into like fisticuffs over it. Yeah. They've sued over it. He says that he sees the deal. He still, he seem. I won't say he defends it, but he doesn't tear it down. I mean, yeah, yeah. So they have gotten the approval to go with it. Yep. This is done already. Uh, how I see it, I think it's a done deal, because uh, on our side, I think we've been first it was FGV. Then it happened now is FIC. FIC is private, mm -hmm. so. If they were good at, you know, they were going to show some interest, likely they would have done their duty and all that, and they would go in lah. But we were trying to get more of the safety nets from him. Mm. We got one, uh, two actually. He said one dividend payments. The other one was he said they can get back their money if they're not RSPO certified, six percent. Okay. He thinks it's a year, could be two percent a year. He's not sure, but. Even that, uh, not everyone is convinced la, of that. You, know. you actually did also ask him about Peter Sondak because yep. it said that he's good buddies with yep. you know the administration yep. here. He didn't outright deny it, but he did. He said it wasn't a factor. Uh, he said he's looking at it as an investment. Mm. So when it's an investment, you don't care who, whether it's your friend or whoever, you know. And he, what he said is true. There are a lot of stories as well. When you read Facebook, the amount of rubbish there, you know. Yeah, like, yeah fake news. You know? Like my personal so hatred. Some, some things he says is very true. You know, okay. a lot of stories, but you don't know, you know. Because you're not sitting at the table, are you? Exactly. But ultimately, you know, let's not mince words. Felda is important to the ruling coalition because mm. of the votes that it holds. There's a reason why he takes mm. care of them. And it's very interesting that they say that, you know, the, the guys there don't care about 1MDB. They don't care about the impact of the ringgit or Trump or any of those kind of things. But the second generation does, don't they? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was quite surprised. I spoke to a friend, Felda Chap, and he made it quite clear. Maybe his father and mum all, they don't care, or they don't know. Yeah. But he said, the second generation, yeah, we do know. And these guys, they've called me before, put me on speaker phone, and asked me about stuff on 1MDB and all. So, so they are quite clued in, you know, oh. and, and they have like groups of friends and stuff like that and, and I mean he gave some examples of uh, mm. things they're not happy about the acquisition of the building mm. you know things like that. so so they are quite clued in but saying that this is an election year they still seem mm. to give them stuff this this do you think the eagle when he talked to the guy will the eagle high deal be like 
a big deal breaker. It doesn't seem to be. I think it all depends on how Eagle High performs, lah. Because we don't know. See? And I know some of the guys sitting and doing the negotiations, like Muzamil and all that, are sharp guys. Oh, Datu Muzamil now, lah. Mm. Sharp guys. They're not your average uh, mud rumpit. No, no. They're smart guys, you know. Mm. So I'm sure they have their reasons. But it's just that we don't know till we see the deal, lah. You know. And we hope that. Uh, and then when Sharif says he thinks it's a good deal as well, it's supposed to make you feel better, I guess. Does but, it? Yeah, it's supposed to. Is but he convincing? Okay, la. I mean, what he said is true also. I mean, where can you buy such a big plantation? La? Not so easy, you know. So, yeah, to a certain extent, I can say quite convincing, la, but uh, I'll believe it when I see the numbers. La, you know. I mean, 37%, no control. You know, you can't chart the direction. But he says also that they've got the same direction as uh, Felda. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of The Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.